Hi kids! Today we will learn how we can convert improper fractions to mixed fractions and mixed fractions to improper fractions. So let's get started. Let's first learn what are improper fractions. Fractions where the numerator is equal to or greater than denominator are called improper fractions. These are examples of improper fractions, as the numerator is equal to denominator. These are also examples of improper fractions, as the numerator is bigger than denominator. So remember, improper fractions, numerator is either equal or bigger than denominator. Any improper fraction can be converted to mixed fraction by dividing the numerator with denominator. Let's see how. Here, we have an improper fraction, 5 by 4. Now let's see how an improper fraction can be converted to mixed fraction. If we divide 5 with 4, we get 1 as remainder. What does it mean? It means Suppose we have to distribute five apples among four children. Then, each child will get one whole apple, and one apple will be, again, divided among four children. And each child will get one-fourth of that apple. So, each child will get one whole apple, and also a slice, which is one-fourth of an apple. We write the share of each child like this. Let's see it again. One quotient means one whole apple for each child. That is, each child will get one whole apple for sure. One remainder means one apple will be left, and that can be, again, divided among four children. That is, each child We'll also get a slice, which is one-fourth of an apple. So, the share of each child is one whole apple and a slice, which is one-fourth of an apple. So, five by four is same as one, one by four. Here, five by four was an improper fraction, and we have converted it to mixed fraction. Let's see more examples of how we convert improper fractions to mixed fractions. The next fraction is 8 by 6. We have to convert 8 by 6 to mixed fraction. Divide the numerator by denominator. Dividing 8 by 6, we get 1 as quotient and 2 as remainder, which means one whole number and 2 will again have to be divided by 6. That is, if we have to divide 8 things among 6 persons, then each person will get one whole thing and a part, which will be 2 by 6 portion of a whole thing. So, we can write it as 1, 2 by 6. So, 8 by 6 is same as 1, 2 by 6. Let's see another example. Here is another improper fraction. 35 by 8. Which implies dividing 35 objects among 8 persons. If we divide 35 by 8, we get 4 as quotient, which means each person will get 4 whole objects. We also get 3 as remainder which means three things will again have to be divided among eight persons. So, if we divide 35 objects among eight persons, each person will get four whole objects, and remaining three objects will again have to be divided among eight persons. We write it like this, four, three by eight. So this is mixed fraction four, 35 by 8. Now, 
Let's see how we convert back mixed fractions to improper fraction. This is a mixed fraction. If we have to convert it to an improper fraction, denominator will remain the same. And for numerator, multiply denominator with the whole number and add numerator to it, like here. We will multiply 8 with 4 and add 3 to it. 8 multiplied by 4 is 32, and adding 3 to it, we get 35. 35 by 8 is the improper fraction for this mixed fraction. Now let's see another example. Here we have a mixed fraction. Let's convert it to improper fraction. We know denominator remains the same, and for numerator, we multiply denominator with whole number and then add the numerator to it. So here, multiply 6 with 1 and then add 2 to it. 6 multiplied with 1 is 6 and adding 2 to it, we get 8. So 8 by 6 is the improper fraction for this mixed fraction. So kids, now you know what are improper fractions, how to convert them to mixed fraction, and how to convert that mixed fraction to improper fraction. Now let's see why improper fractions are so called. Improper means not proper. That is, they are not proper fractions. Proper fractions means less than a whole. And improper fractions denote something which is not less than whole, but they represent something which is more than a whole. Okay, kids, now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.